Welcome to this tutorial and today we're going to be looking at a raindrops module. Now I bought this for a project that I've got that goes outdoors and uh, I needed something to make sure that I could turn the unit off automatically when it rains. Hence I bought the raindrops module. So this module is a little bit unusual. It's the first time I've come across something like this. It actually has an analog output and a digital output. Now we'll have a look at the difference uh, between them if you're not sure what they are. But first let's have a quick look at the unit itself. So the module comes in a couple of parts. You've got this piece, uh, the big piece, which is basically the bit that the water drops onto. And off of these two pins that connect into the top here, you then come to the processing unit. Now. We have a couple of LEDs. One is a power LED. The other one is a digital uh, signal LED. So when this digital pin is high, um, getting a signal, then the LED comes on. Now there's also a, an analog pin here. And again, I'll explain that a little bit more in the tutorial. But there's a variable uh, little potentiometer here that allows you to change the point that the digital signal switches on and off. If you like the analog system you can check any uh, value between uh, 0 and 1023 using this but if you're using a digital signal it's either on or off and if you like by altering this potentiometer you can alter the amount of wetness that this panel has to receive before it decides to shut the system off. So that is basically how it works and uh, let's have a quick look at a video I've made uh, connected to a um, oscilloscope just to see the unit working. So this is the unit in action. As you can see I've got it attached to my little homemade oscilloscope. The red line is the digital signal, the green line is the analog signal. So as I put this wet cloth onto the unit, you'll see the analog signal drops down a few volts. And because of the way the circuit works, it then drops the digital signal right down. If I take the cloth off, you see very quickly, because it dries out almost immediately, the green line comes up and then the red line jumps up, which is the digital signal. So now we've seen the unit in action on the oscilloscope. And you might have noticed there was a little bit of an odd one. If you had a keen eye, you would have noticed that the digital signal didn't go quite down to zero. And I was uh, a little bit curious about that. I wondered if it was my sort of homemade oscilloscope not working correctly. But I did do a bit of a check and the um, digital uh, signal didn't seem to go right down to zero. It was low enough that obviously the Arduino would recognize it as zero, but it didn't go to what we would call true ground. Anyway, less of that. Here's how it's set up. So the way I've set this up, obviously you've got VCC, the red pin going to 5 volts, ground going to ground, I've connected the digital pin for the example that I'm going to do to pin 12 and I've got the analog sys pin connected to A0. Now usually when you would use this unit you would either be using an analog or a digital signal but I'm going to collect both of them so that you can see how to do both items in one sketch. The difference between these two uh, items uh, in my project, if uh, you go on the Digital Town site, you'll see the Cat Washer project. Basically, what I've got an issue with is that my cat deterrent, which has a PIR sensor, has a problem when it rains because the sensor thinks that the rain falling in front of the unit is movement. So it starts squirting water everywhere. So my reason for buying this unit was I wanted to have a switch that when water starts to fall on the unit, it tells the unit, don't bother shooting at anything, it's raining. So if you like, all I want is an on-off style switch, hence the use of the digital pin. However, these units are supposed to be able to measure humidity. 
I haven't tested that part out too much, apart from the fact that I can see that when I dampen the unit, obviously I can see the change in dampness. But if you can imagine, if you want to know how damp something is or how wet something is, that's not an on or off. It is an analog. You know, I want to know, is it a little bit wet, semi wet or very wet? And that is where you would use the analog pin, which would give you a value up between zero and 1023 depending on how wet this surface gets so that's the circuit diagram we're going to be using again if you go to the digital town website there'll be a link below the video that will give you the link to the page with the circuit diagrams and the sketch that we're going to use so let's have a quick look at the ide so raindrop version one very simple sketch again i've got the pin out vcc to five volts on the arduino ground to ground, DO on the unit to pin 12, AO to analog 0. Again, if you want to change these pins, that's up to you. So I've got two constant integers where I declare the pin numbers, rain pin and rain analog. An unsigned long for my timer. Uh, I'm using a Millie's style timer in this sketch. I've then got an integer digital rain value and another integer analog rain value which will give us the two values from the different outputs from the unit. Declared my pin mode on rain pin as an input. Then we have the main loop and in that I have a millis timer and if my timer if millis is greater than my timer it will trigger the unit and then it will add 500 milliseconds so basically this thing is going to trigger itself every half a second i've set it to that so that the numbers on the screen aren't whizzing up too fast and you can see what's going on so then all this sketch does is the first one for the digital rain value it's going to do a digital read of rain pin and then for the analog value, it does an analog read of the rain analog pin. Then quite simply, it prints out the results. So let's have a look at the results because that's a pretty simple sketch to do. Now, at the moment, the unit is just sitting there. It's not doing anything. And as you can see, we've got a value of 1023. Now and again, it seems to go down just a fraction it's probably measuring humidity doing what it's supposed to do and we can see at this point that the digital pin is giving a value of one that pin is high now I did do some experiments earlier and I found out that with the current setting of the potentiometer on the board that my crossover value is around the sort of 510 520 mark so that is when the signal goes from low from high to low. So what I'm going to do now, I've got my damp cloth. I'm using a damp cloth because pouring water or getting it to rain in my office would be a little bit silly. So here we go. I'm just going to put the cloth onto it. And as you will see, the values start to go down. And you'll notice now that the digital value is zero and the analog value is too, like, so I'm trying to get it as wet as possible so I can get it down to what's the lowest we've seen so far about 213 something like that I now take the cloth off and immediately because there's so little water it immediately starts to dry and you can see the values going up so that is basically how these units work it's been a very very short tutorial but I just thought I'd show you how everything goes so again it's a raindrop module. It can take an analog pin, a digital pin, and uh, give you either an on off digital or a nice progression of an analog signal. So I hope that's been useful to you. And uh, if it is, click the like and subscribe. Bye for now.